ಕನಸಿನ ಕೆಲಸವು ಮುಗಿದರು ಅನುವೆನು ನಾನಿನ್ನ ಅನುರಾಗಿ ಈ ಮುಗಿಯದ ಕಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮೊದಲ ಸಾಲು ನನದೆ ಕೊನೆ ಸಾಲು ಕೂಡ ನನದೆ ನಿಂದೇನಿದೆ Hello everybody. Welcome back to your channel. Today we are going to review a very interesting Kannada movie with English subtitles Hero. It released just a few days back on 5th March 2021. This movie is produced by Rishabh Shetty Films and directed by first time director Bharat Raj. Before I get down to telling you the very fascinating thing story of this movie, we would like to inform you some very interesting facts about this movie and how it was made. First of all, we would like to inform you that Kannada is the official language of the amazing state of Karnataka, which is in the south of India, and Bangalore is the capital of that. Kannada cinema is always known to provide great experimental works for Indian cinema. The producer and lead actor of this movie, Rishabh Shetty, he planned this movie during the lockdown when everything was a standstill during the months of March, April, May in Bangalore as well as all over India and all over the world. So he set out with a crew of just 24 people to the beautiful hill station of Chikkamagalur, uh, which is just four hours drive from Bangalore. It's a very beautiful, lush greenery, uh, amazing hill station. So he set out with a crew of just 24 people, without even a proper script in hand, with a budget of just one crore, which is like one fiftieth of what a normal movie is made of. This movie had a crew strength of just 24 people, very bare skeleton staff, and many of the crew members, like the writers, director, the music directors, and all the the dialogue writer, they were part of the cast. and the entire movie was shot in one particular house a big estate and everything was shot there and it's a beautiful piece of work and it's a great lesson for any film making student anyone who aspires to be a film maker a director a producer an actor this movie is a must watch for them to know how a good movie can be made with limited resources it's a very interesting story and they wrote the story as they went along shooting they took all the precautions and they couldn't interact with much people outside the 24 people because they had to ensure that they are following the protocols and everything like that Now coming to the story of uh, Hero is basically about this hero played by Rishabh Shetty and the best part about this, this movie is none of the characters have any names they are all just characters like there's a hero there's a heroine there's a villain there's a cook there's a doctor a veterinary doctor they are henchmen of the gangster so they all have that kind of names so the story goes like this the hero played by Rishabh Shetty he works as a barber in a barber shop and one day he gets a order to go to this big gangster's big don's house which is in the village to do his haircut and shave and he also learns that that man is none other than his ex girlfriend's uh, husband so he takes this as a great way to take revenge and uh, it's a dark comedy uh, it's a very violent it's a adult rated movie so he takes this as a great opportunity to take revenge from his girlfriend who had dumped him many years back uh, for this rich man so he thinks that when i go to the house i'm going to kill the ex girlfriend who dumped him and uh, kill her husband also so he goes with all preparations and he thinks it's going to be a very easy job because already the guy he wants to kill is a gangster so he thinks it won't be a problem because people won't doubt anybody least of all a baba so he goes there uh, on his uh, motorcycle and on reaching there he gets completely surprised There's a lot of amusing things, funny things which happen. It's a over-the-top movie, but it's still a lot of fun, especially the first half. So he goes there and he learns that it's not going to be as easy as he thought, and a lot of crazy things are happening in that house. And he sees his girlfriend in a very bad shape. She's being ill-treated for many, many years. She's very unhappy. She's depressed and all. And a few things happen, and which he realizes that now he's in trouble, and he has to save his girlfriend now. He takes it upon himself to save his girlfriend as well as save his own life because he's in big trouble now because something has happened there. So the whole movie is about what happens in the first half and the shocks that he gets and the surprises he gets and the trouble he lands himself into and his ex-girlfriend into and the second half is all about how he's trying to save his life and his ex-girlfriend's life from that real estate and the people living there. So as one can make out it's a very thin storyline but let me tell you it's great fun it's very interesting and the acting the performances the dialogues the funny jokes it's all really amusing it's over the top but it's great fun especially the first half and there is a lot of madness going on but there is fun and there is some sense in the madness especially in the first half so it's a great watch and they've explored the house really well the characters are each have their own quirky traits 
and uh, the performances are fantastic the background music is just absolutely fabulous it makes the movie go up that much higher and the locations of the beautiful hill station have been captured so beautifully uh, it's like a good break for us who have been living in the lockdown for many months now to see such a beautiful green landscape in that village as i mentioned earlier the entire film was shot entirely on the hills forests and estates of chikmagalur and uh, just within a period of 40 days with a budget of just 1 crore and with only 24 crew members working on the set and they used to work whole day they used to sleep at their estate and it's just one fantastic effort made by the team and the highest marks should be given to the team for that they wrote the story on the spot every day and i believe till the last day of the shooting they were writing the script and improvising on the time so this movie one should not go expecting that okay we are going to see see some logical thing some serious stuff no it's a dark uh, comedy a black comedy and those who are not familiar with the term need to watch this movie to understand like i was not familiar with the term and when i saw the movie then i understood what dark comedy means it's a thriller very violent also there are few very very graphic scenes but still uh, there's a lot of humor in it like you you're scared you don't want to see those things but still you find things funny you laugh at the same time that's the great work done by the writer director and actors where the scenes are so gruesome that you don't want to watch them but still they make you laugh so that is a contradiction by itself and it's a fun experience especially the first half so the first half has been excellent when the intermission point came the audience was really looking forward to see the second half and uh, we were very excited that the movie is going to get better now uh, as the rule is of a, of any movie the start has to be great the middle has to be great and the end has to be great the first half was so 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 good the first half is one of the best first halves you'll ever see in any movie it's so entertaining it's so much fun so the second half was a bit of a let down if the second half would have been as good as the first half i'm sure it would have got a five star rating and it would have done wonders not just in karnataka not just in india but all over the world but still it's a must watch for people who like to follow different types of cinema film making students who like to watch different type of setups and different type of makings jona so that way it's a good entertaining movie and one should watch if if you if you like that kind of movies in the first half there are many scenes which make you really burst out laughing in the middle of gruesome scenes coming to the cast and crew of the movie the movie is produced by rishabh shetty films and the production values are excellent you never feel anywhere that uh, that's a low budget movie excellent they have captured the essence of the hill station really beautifully and all the production values are good the performances are excellent and it looks like a well made movie the director of the movie is a first time director mr bharat raj he's done a pretty good job uh, of directing getting the great performances from the actors and the screenplay is really good a director has been quite good the writers of the movie are the director himself uh, bharat raj the actor rishabh shetty and mr anirudh and they've written a pretty good story considering that they had to set the story in a small village and in one house the whole thing so the story was excellent the story is very well written the music by ajanish loknath he's done a fabulous job the music was just too good it's amazing and it takes the movie to another level and uh, you really live the movie you really feel that you are in that house in that situation the background music the everything the tension the stress it all comes around in the comedy scenes the music is given so the background music is just simply fabulous the songs are very beautiful they are sung really good although they are in kannada but the subtitles are there and they you can feel the song the emotions the actors are going through so the music the songs are excellent and it was a joy to watch and one more special word about the subtitles they have done an excellent job uh, although even if you are a non kannada speaking person the subtitling has been done so well that you don't feel you are missing out on anything so the english subtitles are really great and you enjoy the experience you live the experience so the language won't be a barrier for you to enjoy the movie the singer is vijay prakash and he sung the songs really beautiful in kannada language you really enjoy them his voice is really sweet and the lyrics by yograj bhat are excellent uh, one could not understand because i am a non kannada speaking person but the lyrics could be seen in the subtitles and they were looking really beautiful and very heart touching and very relevant and very uh, meaningful The cinematography by Arvind Kashyap is absolutely beautiful. He's captured the locations, the greenery of the place, the lush greenery, the house, the insides of the house, the outsides of the house, the jungle. He's done a fabulous job, and the cinematography is eye-filling. You really enjoy uh, to watch it in a big screen, and it's a joy to watch. The editing by Pratik Shetty is done a pretty good job. It's quite good, also I would say in the first half especially. It's very crisp, very quick. Like you don't get bored in any scene. Full marks to the editor. The stunt director of this movie is Mr. Vikram and he's done a fantastic job. There are lots of action scenes, lots of fighting happening, lot of gruesome scenes also. Uh, but uh, fight direction is really good and you enjoy watching the fight. So great work by the stunt director. There are lots of interesting things. One more interesting thing is this entire movie, the entire story happens in just one day, in one day and one night. 
and you almost feel that at least in the first half you at least feel that you are right there in that estate in that house seeing what is happening and you feel the emotions that the that the characters are going through the hero of this movie called hero is rishab shetty who's a very respected and successful actor in karnataka in kannada films and he's really good in the role of a baba who wants revenge who's hurt because of his girlfriend dumping him so he enacted the emotions really well he was absolutely endearing and lovable and you really felt for the character that the hero played the heroine of the hero is ganavi lakshman she's done a beautiful job you really feel feel for her and uh, she looked great and uh, she performed really well as an unhappy housewife who's really troubled by her husband and uh, how she has spent up anger in her and how she removes her anger and how she again uh, develops feelings for her ex boyfriend the the chemistry between the hero and heroine was absolutely beautiful the negative lead of the hero is pramod shetty he's in an excellent job you believe him uh, when he's doing all those cruel things in the beginning and he's fantastic part and the most amazing thing is uh, later on when uh, i can't tell you much about it but oh, he was there almost throughout the movie and every time he's on screen you feel like laughing there's a smile on your face so this is very strange here there's an actor there's a character who's really bad who's gruesome who's killing people who's really cruel and audience is smiling and laughing at him so that's the funny part uh, that all the credit for this goes to the director and the story writers and the actor who performed that that is pramod shetty excellent work by mr pramod shetty one of the negative guys uh, tiger ponappa son played by ogaram manju he did excellent job and this change of character in the end was very good and it was great fun watching him and he looked very effective so great job by the actor kiran kinna he played the character of the cook and he was really amusing he was really funny it is totally illogical what he was doing but the way he performed the character was just simply beautiful and you enjoy every time he comes uh, looking for something and saying the biryani is ready and stuff like that he was simply hilarious and he brought the character alive and he was one funny element in the whole movie anirudh mahesh who was also one of the co-writers of the movie played the role of the veterinary doctor and he was simply brilliant he was really funny and you enjoyed what he was doing it was great fun watching him and the rest of the supporting cast was also brilliant they have been beautifully casted and they did a great job they were very effective especially the henchmen who work for the gangster in his bungalow in his estate so overall it was a pretty entertaining movie and especially hilarious in the first half and it was a great effort by the entire team by the cast and crew of this movie and uh, credit should go to them it's a good watch i would say if you want to watch some different kind of cinema in the dark comedy in the black comedy space it's a different genre it's a genre defying movie so it's something different and the language won't be a barrier as i told you as the subtitles are really great and you don't feel you have missed out on anything you are able to understand it really well so it's a good watch and uh, in the start of the movie they put a card there saying uh, for the audience saying thank you for coming back to the theaters and i would like to tell the cast and crew of the hero movie that thank you for making this movie for us well that was all so i hope you enjoyed listening to the story and review of the hero movie of kannada language with english subtitles we look forward to see you in our next episode soon so bye for now see you at the movies